Hi guys, welcome to another audio video in Dabba reading, Jonah 2 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly, and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell cried I, and thou heardest my voice. For thou hast cast me into the deep, and in the midst of the sea, and the floods compassed me about. All thy billows and thy waves passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight, yet I will look again toward thy holy temple. The waters compassed me about, even to the soul. The depth closed me round about. The weeds were wrapped around about my head. I went down to the bottoms of the mountains. The earth with her bars was about me for ever. Yet hast thou brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. When my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord, and my prayer came in, came in unto thee, into thine holy temple. They that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. But I will sacrifice unto thee with the voice of thanksgiving. I will pay that that I have vowed. Salvation is of the Lord. And the Lord spake unto the fish, and it vomited out Jonah upon the dry land. Alright guys, so this is basically a continuation of the previous chapter. And like I said, judgment belongs to the Lord. And here we see where Jonah accepts the fact that salvation is of the Lord. And if the Lord sent him to save a certain people, to bring a message to them, to save them, then it is not for him to decide that these people are not worth saving because that is own, that is his own biased opinion that they do not deserve to be saved. When the Lord thinks that they need to be saved and wants Jonah to bring forth the message that he gave to give the people of Nineveh so that they'll actually be able to gain salvation. So salvation is there for us to freely receive. It's not for anyone to actually say who deserves it and who doesn't. Only God is the judge of that. And so guys, I want to encourage you to remember that salvation is of the Lord. And if the Lord sends you to the darkest places of the earth to actually bring forth his word, then do it. Just ask him for the strength if you feel fearful. Ask him for um, a spirit of boldness so that you won't feel as fearful as you feel. Ask him to be your guide. Ask him to help you to urge you on you know and not be someone who will actually try to take things into your own hands and think that you think that you know better than god does because we don't and so he is thankful here and giving thanksgiving even in the belly of the fish that the lord has allowed him the opportunity that the lord will allow him the opportunity to actually prove himself to him and to actually repent of the wrong he has done by basically condemning these people to death and if you recall in earlier scriptures we saw that the Lord says that if there's a watchman and the watchman does not actually sound the trumpet for the people, then that watchman is actually, the burden falls on him when he does not warn the people. But if he warn the people and then the people fail to heed the warning, then that condemnation is upon themselves and he has no part in that condemnation. And so here we see that Jonah is actually bringing that scripture again to life where he says that he is repenting of the evil he has done. He's repenting because he has actually been guilty of being a watchman. The watchman sent forth that has not given the warning that he's supposed to give, sounding the alarm that he's supposed to sound. And so he's repentant here and the Lord heard him and the Lord spoke to the fish to deliver him. 
right so guys i just want you all to remember this scripture and let it be a guide for you right so guys please remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not yet gained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye